So South Alabama, it's fairly smaller than um, other like, bigger magical schools and that was one thing that was really appealing to me from the beginning was just not feeling as um, as much of like a small fish in a big sea but just really being able to um, meet everybody in my class, know them all by name, be able to say hello to them when I see them in the hospital. We use a holistic application process so we're looking for the whole student. Um, a lot of people have this idea that it's all about having the highest MCAT score and the highest GPA, and those are great things to have, but we're looking for people who are interested in giving back to their community. We're looking for the student who has done shadowing, who has worked in their community, done community service, has worked on their campus, even some students who have had outside employment, who have had to put themselves all the way through school. All of those experiences make a whole person into a doctor. And so we're looking for a variety of those types of people. It's the environment where everybody's just there for you. Whether you go to a professor, uh, one of the administrative staff, or another student, everybody's there to help you. Nobody wants to see you fail. I am situated within our Office of Accreditation and Planning, uh, and we have the Office of Academic Success that is in that department. Uh, and as such, I help coordinate and oversee all of our academic support programming for medical students here at the Witten College of Medicine. So that includes coordinating our new peer academic leadership program, which is second year, third year, and fourth year students who are trained on learning-based strategies and evidence-based teaching to help, uh, to help coach and teach their peers. Um, as they're learning and adjusting to medical school. The environment that we have here, uh, it demands the best of us. Uh, it demands that we show respect and humility to everyone from the person sweeping the floor outside all the way up to the expert neurosurgeon that may happen to be on our team that day or working with us or consulting us. And that's really important, I think, to everyone here. I always like to say we want to teach the way we wish we were taught. So it's really trying to break things down to their clinical components and trying to use it as the in terms of how the patient is experiencing it. So a lot of times we'll go through a lot of question sets and even just even a multiple choice question when we read the vignette together, I try and break down what does each word mean? What are they trying to imply for the patient scenario and for the student where they're trying to lean towards for their differential diagnosis? And then looking at some of the multiple choice questions and saying, okay, this is wrong because of this reason. Um, and making sure that we're always using, using clinical context to explain actual principles. We are, you know, vested uh, in, you know, the success of each student because we, we firmly believe that our, you know, uh, a student's success is also our success. And we want to, you know, we really want to help students be the best version uh, of themselves as they develop into physicians. Um, I was able to participate in the summer research program and so I, uh, I was able to work with uh, Dr. Ashley Williams actually in the trauma surgery department and uh, work on uh, looking at how social determinants of health impacted uh, some patient recovery uh, aspects and uh, so I was able to present that at the summer research uh, symposium at the end of the summer before starting M1 and then was actually able to submit that work to a uh, to a uh, Southeastern Surgical Congress. By week three or week two on your OB rotation, they look at you and say, okay, hey, go in the room and go catch that baby. And like, I think that's unheard of at a lot of other med schools. Really getting in there and gowning you up and like telling uh, the mom to push and really like, I don't know, just being in that moment, you actually get to see yourself. I would say it was more like an outer body experience. Like you're there, like you experience it, but for some way and somehow like you can see yourself actually doing it and like that just makes the experience so much better and you you look back on it i mean i still look back on it now even in residency like i look back on it like wow i like i really did that when you're on surgery with the smaller class size um, you get to participate in surgeries you get to hold retractors you get to be really up and close and seeing what's going on which is great for learning and great for connecting too with attending physicians. Everyone on the care team knows me because there's only the two of us on our rotation right now, which happens to be infectious disease. So I do feel like I get a lot of one-on-one -on -one instruction that I might not get at a bigger school. As I'm sitting here, the construction in our new building is happening. So you, don't, you won't look very far to see just by physical space we're growing. And we are going to be expanding our class size. So we're gonna grow with our college. So right now we can seat 80 and we hope to over the next five years or so grow to a class of 100. 
it's going to be a game changer. It's going to be different. It's it's going to elevate this school to a new height that it hasn't been before, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Mobile is a great place to live, uh, and the University of South Alabama is situated within striking distance of most of the things that are attractive about living in Mobile. Not very far from the beach, not very far from the water. It's the birthplace of Mardi Gras, as you hear, so there is that culture. There's lots of good places to eat and live. It really feels like a big city sometimes, and then just a very small town at other times. You, you get the luxuries of getting the the seafood here, the, the Gulf Coast vibe. You get the hour trip to the beach on one way, or you can go the other way and go to New Orleans and hang out. And just the entire city has that kind of melting pot kind of vibe because of the culture that runs through the city. And if you are looking for a medical school that will train you to be a community physician, um, whether that be a, a regional hospital orthopedic surgeon, or whether it is a primary care clinic in rural Alabama, um, this would be the type of school that you're looking for.